Right in this video we're going to learn how to use the bone tool as well as the spray brush tool. So we're going to start by creating a new action script 3.0 and designing a background. Now remember I if I click on the paint bucket and click on the scene nothing will happen oops, uh, because I don't have any boundaries. So I'm going to start by just using this rectangle tool and I'm going to use the no fill color um, and the black pencil just to create a box around my canvas so that I can use a color. Now I'm going to use the pencil tool and just draw in some background. And now I can use that paint bucket tool and fill it in with some kind of color. And I will fill in the sky. I'm just going to draw a couple clouds in here. Pretty poor looking cloud, but that's okay. And now I will use the paint bucket tool to fill them in with white. Remember, the only thing that's going to show is what's within the canvas. So these outside lines won't show when we animate. All right, so now I'm going to use the selection tool, drag a box around that, everything, and right click on it, convert it to a symbol. And I'm going to call it background so I know which one it is. Make sure put it on graphic and press OK. And then I'm going to right click again and distribute to layers. So that process should be fairly familiar with now. Now we're going to use the brush tool and I'm going to draw out some grass. So I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to undo that because I want my grass to be green. Okay. There we go. And then again with the selection tool, double click that whole thing, right click, convert it to a symbol. And we'll call it grass. Now I want to double click it on it again. I'm going to go into that symbol now. So scene one was our background and everything. Now I've gone into that grass layer. We're going to use this bone tool here. And I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to click and drag. And as I get I'm going to start with a longer bone. As I get higher, I'm going to want to make those bones come in smaller and smaller. So that we'll have more control over it. And as you'll notice now we have this armature layer. Alright, we're going to go back and click on scene one. And with the selection tool, I'm going to right click and I'm going to distribute this one to the layers now. And I'm going to drag the background to be on the bottom layer so that when I do put my grass over top it will be visible. And I'm going to click on the little dot that lines up with this lock just so that I don't um, move it or do anything by accident. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click and hold this brush tool so that I can select the spray brush tool. And we're going to click on edit and I'm going to choose that to be grass and I'm going to spray some grass onto my scene. And I don't want it to rotate but I do want it to be random so that the sizing is all different. And now I can, oops, I'm on the wrong layer so no I don't want to do that. I want to be on that layer and now I can just click and spray on some, some grass here. I don't know how much grass I want, I don't want that much. That's probably good enough. I think I'll leave that spot for my drawing. Alright, so now we have got our brush tool, or we brushed on some grass. What we're going to do next is we're going to add um, our character. So for this one, I'm going to do my best to maybe draw a mouse. So I'm going to click on layer 1 and uh, in the pasteboard area you can use whatever tools you want to try to draw your character.
Okay, here's my sad looking character. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to convert this mouse. So I've double clicked it, or I can use the selection tool and create a box around it and make sure it's all selected. Right click it, convert it to a symbol. And then uh, make sure we distribute it to the layer. So right click again. And then we can double click on it to go into that symbol to edit it. Now I haven't given it the tail yet, so we'll still need to do that. So what we're going to do, we're in the edit mode here, is we're going to add a new layer by going to this bottom little icon. And we're going to rename that by double clicking on it, the tail. Now, um, I'm going to drag that to the make to be the bottom layer. And I'm going to rename this other layer body. And now I'm going to highlight some frames and right click anywhere on the blue and insert frame. Now I'm going to put the body into outline mode so that we can see through it as we are drawing. So to do that, um, we want to click on that little square there. So now all I see is the outline. And now I'm going to draw. I want to make sure that I'm on my tail layer. And we're going to draw a line for the tail. Um, the brush tool. Let's try that. Okay, so it just doesn't want to apply it to the pencil tool, so we'll have to use it on the brush tool. Add our bones in there. And now I'm going to, starting at the beginning, just like we did on the grass, I'm going to drag it out a little bit. And I'm going to move the position of the tail. Alright, so let's test to see how that looked. I'll drag it back to position 1, press enter to preview it. And now we can go back to our scene. And I'm going to insert some frames here. Right click and insert frame. And I'm going to click on the first frame of my mouse and I'm going to position him on the scene. Now I'm going to press enter to preview. So his tail is moving, my grass is not. Let's 
So I want to go into that grass symbol and see what's happening. Okay, I have lost my movement of my grass. Did I not create bones on the grass? I created bones, but I did not create movement. So again, we're going to highlight some frames, and we're going to insert frame. And now, uh, starting at position one, I'm just going to move the scrubber, and I'm going to oops, change the position of my grass. And then we're going to go back to the position one, press enter to preview it. So let's go back to the scene and press enter. And now all of that grass is moving as well as the mouse. It's not the most uh, real realistic as far as the movements I've given it. It's pretty fast switching direction just because I went through that really fast. Um, but that's how you can use the bone tool um, and spray brush tool to create movement. Thanks for watching.